What's up, YouTube? Same ish, different day. This is your man, Skills on the Sticks. And today I want to talk to you guys about, you know, some strategy for Overlord on Church and Destroy. Um, I'm going to just, first of all, I want to start off by telling you guys there's no such thing as like the best class for Search. And let me tell you why. Uh, because Search and Destroy is basically like a chess game. What I mean by that is certain, there's a lot of certain different strategies that will make any one class look simply foolish if uh, a team plays you a couple of rounds and they want to adjust to it. Now, <clears throat> when you're playing just random kids and, um, you know, sometimes you can get away with anything. But anyways, I'm going to be going through a, basically a, a class for each map. So I'm going to be doing a series. So first one is Overlord. And if you guys notice, when you play Overlord, everybody runs to B. So because of that, I'm going to have the MTAR X with the foregrip and the muzzle brake. And really, the muzzle brake is interchangeable with the silencer. It's, what up, it's at whatever you guys prefer. But I use the muzzle brake here just because the muzzle brake does more damage. And so that's why I use the muzzle brake. But please, if you, if you prefer silencer, go ahead. Um, the lethal, it depends again on you guys. If you want to use C4, uh, if you want to use Semtex, I personally pr prefer a Semtex because it, you know, it detonates right after you throw it. You don't have to worry about holding R2 to throw it and then, you know, um, double tapping square for it to go off like a C4. Um, on top of that, you could either use a concussion, which is good, or you could use a smoke. Both of those work very effectively. However, the smoke might be a little bit difficult for you to see. Um, these people so mo most of the time I would prefer a concussion now another class for overlord that we're gonna go with is if you're an assault rifle player the gun does not matter uh, I just had an AK-12 you could use whatever gun you prefer and um, it's gonna be with foregrip and silencer and you guys can just copy that class there we know with your own favorite uh, uh, assault rifle and then on after that you know just in case you get into uh, you know fight with some snipers it's always good to have a sniper on one of your classes and and lastly you know the honey badger because it's gonna have off the grid on the perks again you don't have to use the honey badger uh, but I suggest a class with off the grid because of the fact that sometimes people can get very annoying if you happen to play a group of like riot shoulders and they have portable radar so this is basically what I'm showing you guys is gonna put you in situations to be successful no matter what type of strategy you play against so if you're gonna play search make sure you take the time to um, to put together these classes that way you won't get very frustrated when you play the game now here I'm gonna show you guys you know when you're attacking what it's gonna look like um, you're gonna pick up the bomb or your friends gonna pick up the bomb you're gonna run through here make sure if you're gonna if you're gonna um, come through here you come early because some people snipe through the garage and get kills uh, what you're gonna wanna do is preferably you not be the bomb carrier you're gonna wanna throw your concussion and then follow it by a um, C4 or a grenade, whichever you prefer. And if you don't get hit markers on any of those, proceed to plant the bomb. Just be very aware that someone could be coming up your hill and, and being prepared to throw something down the uh, the ladder. So you guys make sure you stay clear of the ladder at all times uh, because someone can either jump down there or throw a grenade down there. Now, after you get that kill, you can jump on here. This is a very uh, good spot that not too many people are used to. A lot of people hide right there by the rails, so you don't really want to go there too much. And then they also they get behind the wall over there by that door. So this is just a spot that I found that works very well when I play on this uh, particular spot. Um, same thing goes for when you play defense. You want to try to run over here um, as quick as you could. And then throw your, um, your, you know, your flashbang followed by your uh, your c4 and that's you know like i said if you don't get hit markers then you should be clear for the most part um but if you do like again i'm going to show you here i throw both i don't get any hit markers you know so we go ahead and proceed to plant the bomb um that is the biggest thing guys because a lot of people they're not if they don't come right away and you plant that bomb you're automatically setting yourself up to succeed if you go ahead and you and you go ahead and plant the bomb uh, but just be aware that if your opponents, like say you're on defense, if your opponent's constantly going B, you don't, you're not really going to be able to afford to flank them. You're going to want to have to, you're going to have to contest it. So that's when you know you ha you're going to have to make sure you run fast from defense to B also and be ready to throw your concussion followed by your semtex. And like I said again, man, this spot right here is a really good spot to be in. <clears throat> uh, lastly, guys, if you want to use the assault rifle, I, I um. Strongly recommend if you want to use a assault rifle, you go on this side of the map, and it's good to have some players go B and at least one player go A. This side, you'll be able to flank the people. So if they do start to plant the bomb on B, you'll already at least be in a flanking position. And if you guys don't know, flanking is very huge in search and destroy. So 
uh, play again. I was playing some bots just on this one just to kind of show you guys where you want to run against. So they ended up planting A, but still the flank worked very well. And, um, it, and, it, and it was basically something that's going to work very good for you guys if you do it in pubs and someone plants B. You're going to be flanking around the whole backside and they're going to be expecting your teammates to come from that, you know, that B hallway. So when you come back from the backside, um, you know, usually they have one person guarding it, but if you can kill him and get the rest of them in rapid succession, you'll be alright. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm Skills on the Sticks, and I'm off.